Have you ever been inspired by something in real life that you felt like you really wanted to draw or create with your hands? This art is clearly inspired by the beautiful underwater structures called coral reef. Artist Courtney Madison is a clay artist who is very inspired by the nature she found while exploring marine biology in school. She saw that it was one of the most beautiful places in the world and home to at least 25% of all sea life. In learning the science of coral reef, she also learned it's in danger. Rising ocean temperatures have cascading effects that result in something called bleaching events where the coral loses its ability to sustain life and looks bleached out like this. Courtney Madison wanted to create art that could help create change, so she wanted to show the beauty and wonder of coral reef as well as show that it is in very delicate balance. I would like to create art with you that is inspired by her coral reef art. There's so many colors, textures, shapes, and forms. It's really fun to make this with modeling clay or any Play-Doh or clay you have on hand. If you have modeling clay or polymer clay, you will need to soften it first in your hands. This involves mixing it around, and warming it in your hands so that it becomes pliable. The first good form to practice is a sphere. You will create a ball or a sphere of clay by placing it between your palms and rolling it in circles. Many forms that you will want to make start with a sphere. Dome. You can create a dome out of your sphere by poking your thumb into the top and then turning and pinching the sides to be an even thickness. This is also how you make a pinch pot. I started with a dome as a base for my sculpture. I'll be able to attach the other pieces that I make to the base. Now I wanna talk about coils. Coils are created by rolling clay on a flat surface or between your hands. For small pieces, you can use your fingertips. You can create a taper on a coil by just rolling a little bit more on one end than the other. When you are making clay go into the shape you want, it is called a form. You are forming the clay into a three-dimensional form. In this case, I found a tool to poke into the top of this form to make it look like a tube of coral. And I'm also applying texture to this form with a stick to make it look like it has some vertical striations. Look for toothpicks, paper clips, toothbrushes, anything around your house to create new and interesting kinds of texture for your coral. You may also want to flatten your clay and you can do this by pushing it flat with your thumb or even taking an old marker or chapstick and rolling it across your clay. Try looking up pictures of coral so you can be inspired by the different kinds there are. I was inspired by a lacy kind of coral and would like to make different sizes and shapes of holes with a stick. And you can use a pointy or knife tool to create some splits and help form into other coral shapes with branches. And don't forget to experiment with really different kinds of texture. For my last piece of coral, I wanted to make brain coral, so I rolled incredibly long, thin coils. And then you can see me forming them together into a large, swirly brain structure. I think you'll really enjoy forming and texturizing clay to make coral.